morning, everyone. It's always a privilege to represent Alzheimer's Australia, South Australia at our events. Thank you all for coming. September is Dementia Awareness Month nationwide, and the general theme for the month has been creating a dementia-friendly nation. The goal is to encourage Australians to become dementia aware, have a better understanding of what it is like for a person to live with dementia, and ultimately be encouraged to create communities where people with dementia are supported to live a high quality of life with meaning, purpose and value. Here at Alzheimer's Australia SA, we are actively working with the whole community to do this. A large part of Dementia Friendly is about working with organisations, government, private industry, schools, the general public and providing information so we can all better understand the disease and help meet the, meet, sorry, help meet the needs of people with dementia. Alzheimer's Australia, South Australia's pilot project is here in the city of Holdfast Bay. We commenced our partnership with the council late last year and appointed a project officer earlier this year to develop the model from which to work. And eventually, this uh, tailored made model will be rolled out across councils in South Australia. Our focus this year has been to host a series of forums with people living with dementia and their carers to understand what for them would make the city of Holdfast Bay more dementia friendly. To develop a plan informed by people living with dementia and their carers that will help the city of Holdfast Bay become more dementia friendly. To form the Dementia Friendly Holdfast Bay Working Alliance Group, which com comprises a person with dementia, family carers, community leaders and organisations. To train frontline staff of organisations in working with people living with dementia and to receive official commitments from local organisations to work towards becoming dementia friendly. To date, National Pharmacies Glenelg and the Electoral Office of Duncan McFetridge MP have submitted their commitments and we congratulate you on doing that. Following this, we then work with these organisations to develop an action plan and timeline of intended strategies of improvement and change, aligned to all of our dementia friendly concepts. These plans are then presented to our state-based consumer reference group, which, are, which is our consumer alliance group, and when approved, the dementia-friendly symbol is awarded to the successful organisations in recognition of their commitment. We also ensure that Alzheimer's Australia South Australia continues working with these organisations as a mentor. We do have a table set up at the back of the room which outlines the project's objectives and achievements to date, so please feel free to have a look at those. So why is this work so important? Dementia is now recognised as the second leading cause of death in Australians. There are more than 342,000 Australians with dementia and 30,000 of these are living in South Australia. This week alone, another 1,700 people will be diagnosed with the disease. And with the rapid ageing of the population, it is expected that by 2050, close to 1 million Australians will be impacted by dementia. It is a disease of the brain, and it is not a normal part of ageing. These facts are often misunderstood. And dementia is also not just a medical condition. It does have profound social implications as well. People often associate dementia with such memory changes and are just unaware how it can impact behaviours, communication and, most importantly, relationships. It also impacts people's abilities to perform everyday tasks. People often find that family and friends stop calling or visiting after they hear that someone has been diagnosed with dementia. Too many people simply don't understand enough about the disease. And generally, environments aren't designed for people with dementia. Alzheimer's Australia, South Australia, believe it is unacceptable for people to be isolated from their communities just because they have a diagnosis of dementia. We believe that by working with politicians, councils, organisations, community clubs and schools, we will be instrumental in turning this around for future generations impacted by dementia. Our dementia-friendly initi initiatives I mentioned earlier 
work toward reducing stigma by engaging, informing, educating and taking the community on a journey of understanding people with dementia in a way which delivers lasting changes in your community. We certainly have come a long way in the past few years, but have so much more to do, as can clearly be seen by a number of, number of people that are impacted by dementia. Today's event filled to capacity within a week. Ten years ago, we would have been lucky to have about 30 people at an event like this. We had 300 people registered today, and we have about 50 people, I believe, on a waiting list. So you can see that, you know, just over the last 10 years where we've actually come uh, as an organisation. And I believe this, is, this is, has uh, become apparent because of the awareness that our organisation has created in not only South Australia, but Australia. I have no doubt that together we will be a strong force in changing the landscape of how dementia is viewed and managed in future years. Thank you once again for your continued support. And if we leave you wanting more at the end of the day, uh, we're going to be on uh, ABC 891 at half past seven tonight, so you can hear a little bit more about uh, today's events. Thank you, everyone. Please enjoy the day. <laughs>